Oh, welcome everyone on my YouTube channel. I am going to play another title Tuesday. Starts 11 p.m. and it will be a, again a very tough tournament. So thanks uh, for the Twitch chat for for uh, support. Okay, so let's see. Okay, e4, I will play e5 now. Play this red or line. Don't know much theory here, but hopefully my opponent opponents also not really. Okay, knight of six, I guess. E5 is not dangerous, I believe, and knight f5 is something which um, pretty much could lead to a risk free uh, position for white. Still knight f5, yes. So he is going for, for this. So now. <clears throat> Rookie eight, maybe. If he, he can even play bishop h six, and I cannot take because I'm getting in big trouble. So bishop h six, bishop f eight. So rook e7, bishop g5, rook e6. I don't like that so much. What about b4 now? We trade a lot of stuff. I mean, let's try. Okay, we don't read any stuff actually. Knight a4. Okay, I play queen e5, forcing the trade. This endgame doesn't look too bad. His knight is sidelined. F3. Maybe C3 will come at some moment. G4 also makes sense. I believe the position is around equal.
or it was because uh, I just allowed rook c4. Uh, okay, and now I must take. Rook takes. Okay, now white is better, obviously. But... I don't think it's a hopeless position, d5 maybe, or just bring the king. I blundered. But maybe lucky blunder, I mean equal anyways still Yes, I mean it's a draw. I don't think I could do much. Uh, let me just see quickly. Yeah, it's complete zeros and everything. So here I was a little bit better actually. A5. Knight A4 was a very strange move. That was not a good move. Uh, sorry, I have to close the window. Trade. Okay, this a5 was just just very very bad. I made this move. Okay, now it was fine game. The fine game. I mean, unfortunate start, but um, hello, chess Chopin. Maybe tilt. Yes, maybe. Sound is brutal. I mean, the opening did not really work, but... Maybe I will try something, maybe I will try to play the Berlin. Okay, so not uh, many games are going, actually only one, and queen against knight, so it will also not go too long. Discord I don't have, only YouTube. I mean, or maybe I have, but I am... I, I, 
I did not uh, log in for a long time. Oh, I play Mikhail Golubev. Not an easy pairing after a draw. C4. C4. Four. So I played the Averbach system. C5, D5. Six, Bishop E3. Three. Oh, queen d2 is the move. Played a little bit too fast. h3 is normal to prepare knight f3, but first queen d2 is the, is the move. Queen a5, queen d2. Yeah, okay, I, this is completely messed up now, actually. Knight f3. Of course, I cannot take on h6 because of this knight e4 is a, is a pin on my king, so I just want to castle. Ninety-five, maybe b three. I can, I can try. Queen b four. Yeah, I was worried about this move, but somehow, don't know. There should be something here for me. But what exactly? So b three, then knight g four is his idea. Maybe let's go to that position. Yeah, let's go for that position. So if knight g4, I take. Bishop c3, queen d6, I sacrifice an exchange, but he will lose his bishop, which is very important. Okay, he will take. I mean, he has to take. I kind of like it for white. <clears throat> So that's why he's also spending time. I mean, it's not an easy decision to give up that bishop. Okay. Queen c3, probably. Rook c1. If he plays queen b2, I may play something like queen h2. Or... Okay, he goes back. Now... I can play g5. g5 looks good, actually. I believe white is doing very fine here. Wait, now gh. Rook d6, hg. I'm getting a lot of, a lot of stuff. I have knight g5 check. Ah, wait, my queen is hanging. Okay, that's good to realize. Um, okay, queen f4 I can play at the very least. So if he takes, I have queen f6. And mating ideas. G5? I mean, it looks like the move. Ninety five. 
I can simply take that looks good. Yeah, why not? FE Queen G5. Rook G7. Rook g4 or what? Ah, my rook is hanging. That's that's a good. Uh, that's a good point to to protect it. Rook e4. No six. Rook e3. A bit tricky move. Rook d1. If it takes, I have mate. Yeah, this was this is good because now I have bishop d3. Yeah. Ah, wait. And, uh, bishop takes g6. Should be made. Okay, yeah. Okay, was an interesting game. Uh, so this was this was crucial here. At this moment, uh, I believe King H7 was not necessary for for him, and once it happened, I had good chances. Probably, I had better move than B3, simply Rook D1. But I don't know. I okay. I saw that he has this idea, but it looked extremely risky to take that Rook. Queen C3, Rook C1. Queen goes back. G5. Yeah, rook d8 was probably a blunder because of gh. But I also didn't play well. Bishop f1 was not good. Uh, queen f4 not good. Knight g5, queen c7 is the way. Rook d8 and meat coming. Okay, not a very convincing game, but at least I didn't blunder uh, my rook, which I was planning uh, to do actually. Okay, still a few games, actually, more than a few are going. Or oh, mate in one bucket, so yeah. okay, so only two more games and next round. Yes, it's time, Angelica. Happening here, queen up, so this is also over. 
hand here it's also pretty much came over so the next round going to start let's see do we have with one and a half points probably quite a few players okay king of the everything from serbia oh and i'm white again i was waiting for his move but i repeat with the white pieces here okay so nimso india 96 knight f3 t4 bishop uh, d2 g3 f5 i believe i'm supposed to play e3 at this moment so restrict this bishop a little bit and now f4 it's coming with g5 let's go queen d1 So now I have not only knight b3 but also a3 ideas. So now let's start with a3, a5, knight b3. Okay, he just wants to give checkmate to me. Okay, knight b5. Knight, knight b3, I don't know. Ah, okay, anyway, knight b3. If he plays h4, I go knight b5. So now my queen is also protecting d6. Maybe the knight can jump to d6. g4. Okay, so he wants his knight on e5 at some moment. Okay, it's time for me to go forward. Rook c8. Knight d6 looks quite decent. Or maybe he moves the queen, but okay, then the prop, uh, this pawn is very problematic. So I'm not so sure. Rook c8 looks like normal. Rook c8. I mean, rook c8 actually, I can even grab a pawn on a7 because he takes back with the knight, I take the bishop. So probably that's the problem he's facing. Then maybe rook b8. Or just just uh, don't care at all. h4. Okay, knight c7. And I will take the rook. Uh, yes. Okay, he's he's going for some all out, all out attack. Hg ninety five. I just don't see the mate there, so I take with the h pawn. I believe. I mean, I could even take with the f pawn, but I really don't see the mate, so I go like this. Ninety-five. I have a check here. Rook f six. I can take the knight simply. Can I? Actually, rook f six. Yes. So bishop c six. Rook a six. Rook moves, then queen h1, I'm getting mated. Queen e8, also I'm getting mated. Uh, 
but maybe I go for the bishop. Yeah, I go for the bishop now. Queen c8 check. So I take the bishop, then move my rook, and then my king can go to f1. Very important to save this bishop because he had some nice mating ideas. And now I believe he's losing further material. Now check here. And bishop. And this just should be winning bishop c6. So this bishop is hanging. Uh, bishop e8. Okay. So let me see how it was. So he went for an all out attack again, but. It did not uh, work. I mean, Engineva likes this position for black, which is a little bit surprising for me. I mean, okay, it's around equal, of course, but... So A3 I played, H5. Look just much easier to play for white and you know creating these ideas. So if moves the rook to c8, then I have knight a7, winning the pawn. And if he goes to b8, it also doesn't look so great. I mean, I can push c5, maybe knight d6. You went h4, and I thought it's completely winning here, but actually it's it is actually. So hg was a mistake. I mean, of course, fg is much much safer, but I simply did not believe in any mate, which apparently was a mistake. Bishop a8. So what we were missing here? King f7, and I am losing even. Okay, not losing. That's that's an exaggeration, but so basically, after king f7, you you can see this idea that bishop c6, rook h8, and I have no no defense against this. And if I play rook d1, then very nice move, queen h1, bishop h1, rook h1, and I forgot to close, oh, sorry, sorry. And now actually h5 is extremely relevant. Thank you, Free, cas cas free Castle. Hello, Gassi. And I also have a YouTube channel now, Free Castle, so I, I am planning to, to to invest more time to YouTube, actually. So yeah, very nice, mate. Uh, this could have happened. So I was a little bit too... Like, I just did not believe in Black's attack. And okay, now here I had this check. And the point is that if he goes like King G7, I can just pick up the Bishop. He goes to Rook H6, but now only this mate and not on H1. So I just move my Rook and King can walk away. So yeah, it would have been much better to take with the F pawn. Okay, let's see what uh, let's see what Vincent Keimer is doing. He's going going to three out of three. What other games do we have? We have Alexei Sarana. He's struggling a little bit here, but it will be a draw, probably. So Black is pressing here a little bit, but. 
king h5, he has to find he did. Okay, these guys are very strong. I would have probably lost on time. Wait, okay, I just said very strong and now he's losing. Bishop g2. But how it is lost? Ah, he goes in this diagonal and then... And now other... Now... Ah, Tsuk or what? Ah, Tsuk Tsuang. Ah, not very nice. Bishop h now... Ah, but no check. Bishop g... Bishop f5. Bishop g4 now. Now it's swung. Beautiful. No king h5. Bishop has to move. Amazing play from black here. Absolutely amazing play, actually. Actually, Sarana was probably the number one seed of the tournament, but it was beautiful endgame. And no, it's it's normally safer to take back with the h pawn in these structures because e3 pawn can be weak and dark squares can be weak. But here, because of the h file, it was better to take with the with the f pawn. So basically, I was already winning material. Only thing I had to make uh, sure that. I am not losing uh, by checkmate, and that's I did not manage to do. So, like normally, HG is the better one, but uh, you mean a blitz tournament or rapid tournament or which which tournaments are you playing, Gazi? But first thing I would definitely say not to be worried. Because you know there are ups and downs. So any tournament. You know, Blitz is basically up to daily form, I would say. And Okay, if it if it's not going well in classical or rapid, that's maybe you know a little bit more concerning. But I mean, the thing is that if you if you are training, if you like it, you know, many times if if you are like training a lot, then you have there is a period when it's like not not something it's not going well, then suddenly you this knowledge you can put in, into your game and then it's you know suddenly you, your play will jump and be better uh, without seeing uh, seeing your games i mean in general i would i would not be too worried but uh, but of course maybe i can i can check out your games and then uh, if there is something specific going on I can I can tell you okay so g3 b6 Okay, let's play bishop e7, I guess. b3. Or this move even. I'm a little bit worried about my connection, to be honest. 
Uh, bishop d6, and that I'm always playing very bad <laughs> when I am worried about my connection, but his time is simply not running, or, or maybe... Maybe it is just like this because his connection is not good. Okay, let's play ninety eight straight. Yeah, his clock always starts later somehow. Okay, let's not look at the clock, but try to look at the position and my time. Okay, as long as I have time, it's okay. Queen d6, unpleasant move. But maybe I take and I have b5. Queen d6 is the problem, d5 or rook d8, okay, let's go rook d8, queen d6, knight c6 maybe, knight e5, we trade, Rook c6 also possible. Okay, let's see. Maybe rook c6, I mean, it, it doesn't feel correct for sure, but... Idea is that if he plays rook c d1, b5. Try to use that the knight is not protected for a second. But I don't know, it's, it's, I'm suspicious about my position. to take knight a6 I'm just losing a pawn and the, probably the game he's looking at b4 maybe maybe even stronger Rook a7 even. Uh, 
Unless some miracle happens, I am going to lose. Even B6 is coming, everything is coming. Yeah, that was the miracle actually, he gave up his knight in one move, so basically he just, I mean, he plays uh, knight c3, I believe, and I am forced to resign pretty much because my rook is hanging and once my rook is moving, I, he takes the pawn. I was planning to play d1 here and my hope was that he can take it in three different ways, That, but both knights are good, so... Okay, this was not a good game. This was not a good game. Uh, I mean, very briefly, I can check. But again, when, when this leg is happening and so on, it's, it's not, not very pleasant. Knight a5 was probably bad. Knight a8 should have been played earlier. Maybe here d5 was the last chance. No, it's already bad. B, uh, here b5. Uh, why didn't I play b5 here? Yeah, that's weird. I mean, that was my idea actually. But now the knight is not hanging, but it's a pin on the pin on the rook. And yeah, I mean, this is just completely losing. So it's a big luck. Okay, this was a miracle for sure. Yeah, miracle happened. I mean, it was <laughs> it just gave up a night. I mean, it's a break. It was four rounds, so so Gaz is saying I throw a lot in general. So like you mean blundering. I mean, maybe it's also not a bad idea to take some break from chess. I mean, not long, but... Uh, yes, bring some watermelon, Angelica. Like one week or, or something and then... Uh, or two. And then get back to training, so... No, I, I don't want that. I, I, I don't know what I would need, but it's too late for watermelon. But if, if you if you mean that you blunder a lot, then, you know, solving tactics from books is, is kind of number one uh, recommendation. And again, like, probably I would play less uh, bleeds. So just to get back your confidence that you are not blundering, it's better to play longer, longer games. Ah, like that. Okay. Well, I, I guess you have a coach, right? And then, so for example, you have these winning positions. I believe it's interesting to play out uh, those against your your coach. So let's say, 
you know, once, I don't know, possession you consider winning and then you lost it or you mis misplayed it somehow, you just play it over the, over the board with your coach or on leeches with your coach or some player who is stronger than you and just try to, to see what is the problem. But again, in, even in winning positions, there can be, you know, many, many different mistakes. So you can just blunder, for example, or you can trade uh not correctly you know let's say to, to a theoretical draw you trade or not the correct pieces or too many pawns you trade or let opponent counter play so if if you can uh, identify some some uh, mistake like this then i believe it's already already very good and then you can work uh, towards the solution but like for me, if I am not playing well for like for a while, then I just take some break, I guess. Do I rec recommend any chessable course? Yes, actually, that's uh... so. First of all, I recommend my YouTube channel. This video will be also there. So I just started yesterday. All subscriptions there, very much appreciated. And. Uh... If you use command course, then uh, there is this 1d4 chessable course, which we did with Angelica. So it's like 800 variations to train more or less. So it's like a book uh, basically, which is uh, possible to buy like a digital book and as uh, as an extra as an extra you can you can have also 60 so 60 hours of video instruction from angelica like how to play this repertoire and you know many many explanations and everything so like it's really a lot so even to watch it it's like weeks to watch the whole thing but it really covers anything uh sorry everything after uh, after after 1d4 so knight c6 first move a6 first move g6 first move so if if someone is interested then i obviously recommend that course Even A6 is covered, yes. Yes, it was Anthony, Anthony Myers. Or Tony Myers. Uh, Tony Myers, yes. And, you know, the story continues. It's St. George Defense, yes. So the story continues, so Karpov lost that game with White. And then, uh, as far as I know, he was very upset with his seconds or something, that, okay, what is this, that against A6, like, no preparation, and then they started working, and and for the next time, D4, A6, Bishop G4 was analyzed for, for Karpov. Oh, I'm playing with Sarana, okay. <clears throat>
d4, knight f3. Or I should play e3. Maybe I completely messed up. This is a bad line for black and I messed up and play too I'm playing too fast maybe. I'm I don't know a little bit confusing for me. Knight g4. So do I play h3, g4? I mean, let's do that. I mean, white still should be better, in my opinion, but probably it was not the correct way. h6, h4, I have g5. Castle me. Okay, maybe let's go bishop b2 and I also long castle. Rook F1 is not good. Okay, rook f4 I have, or king d1, king c2, knight d5, what do I play on knight d5? I even blundered c5.
Knight of seven, bishop e4, not good. Okay, good to take. He played borderline losing line and I am not playing the correct move, I believe. I have to play e3 here and it's a big advantage for white. Why I play so fast? Okay, even here it looked very promising for a while. And g4, g5 I just played and bishop g2. Huge advantage, but I am losing. You can see I, I, I lose all higher rated players. Just, just cannot beat them. Even this one was a draw, but okay. Again, I have no chance when it is um, when it is so long time. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to close, but anyway, I just wanted to look very, very quickly. Yeah, this line is bad for black, and I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> I mean, the the bad thing is that I I already had this line, you know, many times probably, like quite a few times on leeches. And I know it's E3, but I just confuse the moves here. What to do? Quite annoying. I, I mean, even if I play E3, probably I, I could have easily lost the game. I mean, I just lost, lose to all higher rated. Just cannot win against anyone. Okay, we already started. Okay, let's try to recover and... And win this one. Okay, my opponent is not here. Okay, I think I will I will give back the time odds, so I will just play at two thirty or something. Probably again with e five I will go. Yeah, and I plan to play the Berlin actually in case of in case of bishop b five.
76H3. Show the salmon, maybe. Bishop is seven, G four. Don't like it too much. Maybe ninety seven. I also don't like this move. I'm playing very strange, to be honest. I D four. Maybe ninety five. Maybe this move. I believe I played everything incorrectly and got lucky with this ninety three, but of course, doesn't mean anything. It's still pretty easy to misplay. Uh, so bishop c5, knight e4. Okay, I guess I take once. The second time I, I will not take. Okay, but then what why I am spending time, so I go here. Knight d1, rook f8. No, then I have many moves. So he takes, I go bishop d7. Rook f1, rook e8. Bishop a3, a4. Take. Maybe take b6. C five can be seven.
Okay, I won on time, but maybe I was about to misplay this. No, King E3, Rook G2. Let me very quickly see. Maybe I was on the way to misplay this uh, position. I mean, I made it a little bit tricky for sure. Okay, not really actually, Rook E6. Rook F2 was not needed. Ah, I can just take and uh, promote. Okay, anyway. Okay, I again forgot to close, sorry. So you probably couldn't see one of the files. And Knight takes the one. Rook F8, I can just... Uh, wait, where was this? So I can just uh, even take the bishop here. So you first have to take the rook and then I have time for king d7. I can include bishop d4 and so I have time. So I don't have to react. That was the, that was the point. Yeah, Angelica is actually actually cor correct, uh, completely right that the knife. I mean, I know that it's e three, so like it's not like I have to repeat much on that. To be honest, just just very strange mistake. Okay, maybe I will. Okay, no. D5, take. Okay, it's a semi tarash. Knight is 7. Bishop D3. E5. B5. Bishop B1 looks like some move actually. The idea of Queen D3. This was my trick. I don't know if it's. If it's so great, so he's even ready to go for an end game. Hmm. Okay, I will keep the queens on the board for now. Maybe H4. Queen c4, bishop d3. h5, maybe rook d3. Mm. 
And he has to play h5, I believe. Or knight a4, sorry, knight a4. Queen g4. Yeah, knight a4 or, or h5. Or rook c4. Okay, now what if I play this? And this. Looks quite good. Okay, he will take on d4, queen h7. I can take a pawn with a check. I mean, that should be winning completely. Okay, that that was a surprisingly easy win. Uh, okay, closing this. So this this, and uh, maybe not ninety five. Is it, wait, what is the move? B six. Okay, here I really don't know what is the move. I don't remember this knight d7, b6, e5. Okay, I mean, it looked normal, but knight g5. So h6, knight e4, why it is so bad? Because some queen h4, f6. Okay, I mean, it's still not bad. It's complicated. Bishop takes, takes. And he played very fast. That was surprising. I planned bishop b1. Actually, knight b6 is the best move. I thought it's just blundering the pawn, but here after knight d5, he has he has apparently enough compensation for the pawn. I'm surprised by this. I have to say, I mean, the knight is very strong, but at some moment I thought maybe I can challenge this, but then okay, the rook can come. Yeah, that's quite nice. The queen d5, queen e2. H4 and here H5, I believe. Yeah, H5 or knight A4. He went rook C4, but after H5, it's just queen is coming into the position and winning. Yeah, this this variation I don't know. Castle is the move. Okay, then then it's castle. Hello, learn, practice, and improve. So, short castle is the move, as Angelica is saying, then it is the move, definitely. Okay, so let me see uh, what is the situation. So, Yoba, uh, Chobaba is leading the tournament and playing Andre Akin, but now is down a pawn. So, can he save this, or Andre Akin moves to 7 out of 7? Actually, I would say that that Badur is going to save this. He's very strong in such end games. Material is limited. I mean, position is objectively lost, but I mean, at least according to the engine. But uh... wait, knight is six check. Looks unpleasant. King is six. Also looks unpleasant. Okay, I mean, I, I still believe in a draw, but it will be difficult. F4. Okay, knight is going to d4. That check was unpleasant on f one. F four now. Okay, now it's lost. F four is too strong.
maybe even take the knight and f3 or f3. Okay, nice play by actually very nice play from Andreakin. Knight is three check. Okay, I would have traded one of the knights because those are just jumping here and there. Yeah, for example, this check he blundered, I believe. But yeah, still lost. Yeah, just takes and king f4 and not much to do. Even f2. Okay. King f3. Well, Badur tries everything, but yeah, Andre in seven out of seven. Nice. Many players six out of seven. For example, Sarana. Badur, obviously, Sa Raunak, Sadwani, Bortnik. Oh, I can get, I can play actually against Maroditsky. Okay, that would be not fun. He's extremely strong. I also, actually, I also predicted that Andrei Kim will be, uh, beat uh, Fabiano in that bracket of Rapids. I am almost 100% sure that Duda is not going to win because I believe he's in the in the side of, of Nakamura. So they they be, I mean he can win, but I see it extremely unlikely. Okay. I'm not playing Naroditsky, let's see. Okay. Queen e7, wow, what a weird move. <laughs> Extremely bad move, I believe. c3. Uh, six. Okay, you want. Let's go here. So D three. Actually, maybe I had nine G four. Don't know if it makes any sense, but I had the opportunity. Okay, maybe take. So 
Okay, what about d5? d5 takes, knight takes. Mm. I mean, let's try, I don't know. But I believe he has to take and... Ah, there is b5. I just blundered the pawn at the end. So we take everything, b5. So... Just a blunder. He also did not see this. Maybe queen f6 now. And then knight e4. Okay, I mean, that's fine. One of the X. Let's include rook a2. He has to play queen c1 or queen d1. Now knight e7. C4 takes yeah, 94 C4. I have to take F3, Knight F3, F6. No, maybe I am okay. I mean, C4 looks like a must. This bishop is very strong. Unfortunately, I have to give it up. I don't see any other move. Maybe knight h4 he is considering. I don't see any anything else. I'm actually spending a lot of time. C4. Okay, once I can repeat for sure. Now I am not planning to repeat. Uh, knight five, rook five. Mm. Bishop takes knight g six. Oh, wait, bishop takes. Maybe rook takes actually. Okay, now I also have no time. Okay, let's go here.
Ooh. Okay, tough game, tough game, but I, it was worth uh, taking risks. Uh, so let's see. It was round eight, so I have time to look at the game. I believe I blundered quite a few times. I mean, queen e7 is a ridiculously bad move. It's it's an extremely bad move. I believe he can just play knight c3 and uh, then knight d5 or something. Queen e7 makes no sense. But, uh, okay, so c3, now we transposed into something uh, normal. I mean, relatively normal. d3. So take, take, and here I was absolutely not unhappy with my position. But on h3, I... Uh, there is bishop c4 first, yeah. So if I take on first, he cannot gain a tempo with b5. That's the difference, because if he takes with the pawn, then I have knight d5 attacking the rook. So instead I play d5, which is a blunder. E d, knight d5. So he took two, and here I believe just b5, and I'm losing the pawn. I'm losing e5. So this somehow he also forgets. So when queen c2, and suddenly it's not so clear. Queen g6. I could play rook a2, queen d1, knight d7. Even this one is better. Wow. Okay, this I... Okay, rook e5 I thought absolutely not possible because I take d2. So knight cannot take because mate, queen d2, bishop f3. And, you know, like, g3 has to be played, uh, black has two pieces, which in in a normal world should be, like, clear advantage for black, but it's, it's just much better for white here. Uh, very interesting. Because of this, because of this bishop, actually, doesn't have uh, normal retreat squares. Maybe he was looking at this, I don't know, but it looks very risky to play like this. Yeah, I mean, basically, if not for c4, then white is losing, but there is c4. Knight f6, queen f4, and now this bishop is in in some trouble. I also cannot take because rook e3, double attack. Okay, so here we repeat it, and... Okay, I try to play on with, with c6, c4, takes... This rook e5 is a very nice intermediate move, which I missed. The knight is, but fortunately, this knight is so strong that I have chances. And yeah, so g5. He started to push pawns, but yeah, I also have active active play. So it was just just winning like this here. Yeah. Okay, that's that's nice. Thank you for the follows. Okay, so short break. Only four players with six and a half and... <laughs> okay, it will be very... Oh, it will be very tough. So I will either play... Actually, I have two options. I either I am either going to play against Daniel Narodicki against whom I have the worst uh, like he is he is the worst opponent for me in the like uh, score against each other wise like he's always beating me like I don't know like extremely bad and Option B is, is Matthias Bluebaum, who is probably the second one who is always beating me. And... Uh, 
to be honest, I would prefer to lose to Narodicki if I can pick like this. But yeah, both are super unpleasant uh, opponents for me. I mean, even against Hikaru, I have more wins and uh, and success. I mean, of course, I will try, but. Those are just really tough matchups for me. We will see. But yeah, it's pretty much like that because still number eight we have I mean four players with six and a half and I played already with with Sarana. Yes, it is break now, so no, probably not for long. <coughs> I mean, Naroditsky is going, if I play against Naroditsky, he's going for Kings in the end or 1g6. That's almost a guarantee. And a blue bomb normally going for d5 and cards but structure. Thank you for following. If you can, please also follow or subscribe on YouTube. I'm just starting a channel, so all support is appreciated. Yes, of course, you can just, uh, you can just, uh, exclamation mark YouTube and you can uh, I mean so far only one video there other uh, title Tuesday is uploading at this moment what I played earlier today and uh, this one I will also upload Okay, so I believe we will, we will, oh, wow. <laughs> I already calculated all my opponents and I am Jose, playing Jose Martinez. I lost to him in the afternoon. So chess.com surprised me. Three, maybe take on D five and Rook C one. Wait, Bishop F six. Hmm. Bishop f6, queen c7, then goes bishop a6. Maybe let's call it a bluff? I don't know. Bishop a6 will be played, or bishop f5. Knight f3. Knight f3. 
knight c6, bishop b5, or knight c6, knight e7, So rook c8, queen f4, ah, g5. Okay, it's somewhat weakening movements. He has to play g5. He's not. Rook c2. Okay. Maybe let's just castle now. B4 is also a move. Hmm, tough choice. Knight H4, no. Maybe just castle and and a four. Still must be a better position for white, but rook c eight. But maybe not by much. Rook c one. <clears throat> oh, maybe I misplayed it. Okay, I don't know. H four, a knight of eight. Queen b8. I strike queen b8. Maybe. Bishop e4. How do I play? Maybe bishop e8? No, it's possible. Queen e6. Yes, queen e6. Uh, bishop c6, maybe. Goes back.
Okay, it was tough. I misplayed after the opening, but then... Uh, but then somehow... I don't know, he, he blundered something like this d5 pawn and stuff. So yeah. Thank you, thank you everyone. And also thanks for following. Yes, but unfortunately I still have the chance for seven and a half out of eleven. We will see. So again, I, I can play Bortnik, Andre Ekin, Blue Bomb, and basically that's it. So I cannot be twice. Uh... Yes, I reached. Uh... I read seven and a half earlier. Yes, actually, Bortnik. I can play Mikola or Alexander Bortnik. Or Andrei, can I believe? Uh... Okay, we will see. We will see. What what, what is I before that I was with black, so I can even repeat with white. But most likely I will be back, uh, black. Okay, no games are going, so we are starting the next round. Okay, Andre Akin, he will play d4. Uh, let's go for the slab. C2. Okay, so I want bishop f5 or knight b4, bishop f5. Let's take bishop c2. Does it make any sense? I'm not convinced, but rook a3, 
rook f c8 let's say or rook f d8 i'm not sure king d2 i have to go back now maybe a 94 check it was e1 So let's go here. Okay, rook c8, knight a4. No, knight a4 is not a move. Okay, take bishop e5. a6. I take Am I blundering ninety five? Maybe not. I mean take take ninety five. Almost blundering. He's outplaying me in the last couple of moves. Bishop c7. I have b5 in the next move, but it looks risky. Like knight b6, I take c7, rook c7, knight b6, rook a6. No, that's, that's what I cannot do. It goes back. F6 probably. E4. Okay, E5 is coming. <coughs> I can play e5 now. Does it do anything good? I don't want to take this knight. Maybe bishop e8. I don't know. A bit shaky. Bishop f3, knight b6. Uh, it's unpleasant. Uh, 
Ah, eu tô, eu tô mais ruim. Hmm. I had a very, very uh, decent position, but yeah, this ninety five was maybe not good, or I missed this. But then later... Yeah, here I should have... I mean, I, I just did not see after bishop f7 that he takes my bishop. If I played this, uh, which was my original intention, I can take with the knight and I control b5. I mean, I am still worse, but it's uh, it's quite a good chance to hold. And here I simply have no moves. Okay, I don't have to fall apart right away, but I, I wanted some d4, bishop b3, which is actually protected by the rook, so... <laughs> okay. Unfortunate, but... Uh... I am pretty tired, that's for sure. Uh, but okay, I mean, I didn't lose that game because of because of I am yeah, king f7, king f7 was better. I, I just uh, did not see that knight can take f8, so I thought we repeat moves. And I am again black against Gigalco. That's uh, um, that's a nice present for losing the previous game. Even place a uh, gambit. So knight f6, mm. d e, d e, it's not good. Maybe bishop b6, but then bishop b5. Ah, oh, wait, do I want to take back? Yes, probably. Yeah. Rook b1, he can play. But then bishop a7, no, he, he has to take somewhere, I guess.
right. So 95. No, it goes there. Interesting move. Can't I just play f6? f6, rook d1. I mean, it does look risky, but... So now rook d1, rook d6, rook b6 can happen, but... That doesn't look that horrible. And maybe he takes on e7. I'm. I can even take back with the king. Why not? Also with the queen. Maybe now takes my knight. Probably he will take because knight c6 if, if I can play that. I could actually have played bishop g4. No, b7 was hanging, sorry. Okay, so now knight g6 or, or knight c6. Knight g6, bishop c1 anyways. Okay, anyway, I like this move. Bishop c1, maybe knight f8. Okay, let's see what, what's going on there. f3. It was not uh, smart. This bishop e6 was there.
Congratulations. I had the win, but okay, what to do? Okay, it was a very intense game. So eight points I managed. Maybe eight and a half would have been personal best, but it is what it is. So you spent a lot of time. Knight of four. Knight of one. And yeah, here I, I was drift. I mean, I could have just finished development, but instead I, I gave him some chances. I believe bishop d7 or something was good here. Yeah, bishop d7 was good. Rook b7. Here he, kept, he could have taken on a4. Ah, no, the bishop is I did not see the bishop is so queen b5, I took here, here. Knight g2, rook a7. Actually, it was queen b7, knight queen b7. It's a draw. Yeah, because he checks me right away, but okay, I managed to consolidate. So it's a technical win. I mean, it's of course not the easiest. He's jumping around with the knight. But. For a while I managed to to just play around without blundering my rook, but eventually of course it happened. But even then he played I mean I don't know if I had any possibility here. I mean G3 it's just a draw. And at one moment I thought I'm getting into the very dangerous territory. Yeah. Knight c5 fork. And I had a lot of time. I mean, for sure not one second, but okay. So here I was a little bit scared. I played very strange, but of course it's a draw. Right? On king d5, I have to play h4. I have other. I mean, everything is a draw, of course. But like, I'm just saying in low on time, like, I don't know. Yeah, and then this is just a draw, so... So I finished number 11 actually, and with the win... With the win I would have been number 6, which is pretty much the same. I mean, of course it would have been better, but... Uh, number 11 is, is pretty good for me.
Oké, okay, tough, tough uh, tournament. It was a win, yes, yes, but I, I blundered, unfortunately. Thank you, Angelica, for, for 100 bits on 8 out of 11. Yeah, this was a good 8 out of 11, so I had two draws. I lost to Andrejkin and Sarana. Okay, again, Sarana, that's, that's a painful one. Andrejkin actually won the tournament. He played great. I mean, 11th place is, uh, is very... I believe first five is, is a prize. But even if I would have won... Okay, I don't know what is this 44 and a half. I mean, if I would have won, maybe I am fifth. I don't know. Uh, not very likely. It did not matter I, uh, what you mean if I win or, or draw. I mean, it, mat it mattered, but... Uh, anyway... Both tournaments were, uh, were pretty good today. So, once again, this... Uh... No, it mattered, but... Uh, sorry, I, just, I was just uh, looking at the game. Thank you very much, it matters. Thanks a lot. For everyone for support for you to cheer and support and everything so thanks a lot so once more this video will also go to youtube and you can check out the channel you can subscribe many i hope to upload many videos there so tomorrow maybe arena kings uh, maybe yearly blitz so there are two tournaments I don't know which one is better to play, to be honest. Uh, so yearly blitz is six hours, Arena Kings only two, but Arena Kings is sometimes very tilting tournament. So uh, I will see. I will see. I, I would for now say probably yearly blitz. All right. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, see you and have a have a good night.